Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 24 of Book 1, which states that if we have two triangles, and we'll call them ABC and DEF, where two sides of the triangle is equal to two sides of the other triangle, CB, CB, if one triangle has an angle between these two sides larger than the other, it will also have a larger base. Or more simply put, if alpha is bigger than delta, A will be larger than D. So to demonstrate this, what we're going to do is we're going to take the larger angle, alpha, and copy it onto the line ED at the point D using the methods described in Proposition 23. All right, so now we're just copying our angle. It takes a little bit of time. So now we have the angle alpha described here. Next, we will define a point G such that DF equals DG, and we'll do this by drawing a circle and finding the intersection point. Next, we draw the lines EG and FG. Now if we look at the triangle DEG, we can see that we have side C, angle alpha, and side B. Our original triangle was C, alpha, and B. So we have side, angle, side between two triangles are equal, then both triangles are equal in all respects. In other words, BC is going to equal EG. Carrying on, if we look at the triangle DFG, it is an isosceles triangle. And as an isosceles triangle, the base, inner base angles will be equal to each other. We'll call the angles epsilon. And finally, looking at the triangle EFG, and let's zoom in there for a moment, we have epsilon being the red angle, beta being this larger black angle, it's clear that beta is greater than epsilon. Similarly, epsilon being the red arc shown and theta being the black arc, it's clear that epsilon is greater than theta. So we have beta is greater than epsilon is greater than theta, or beta is greater than theta. So according to the proposition 19, the side of a triangle that is opposite the larger angle, beta being the larger angle, EG being the side opposite, will be larger than the side EF opposite the smaller angle, theta. So EG is larger than EF. Going back to our original drawings, we have EG is larger than EF, but EG is equal in length to BC, so BC is larger than D. So I've just demonstrated that if we have a triangle where the two sides are equal between two triangles but one has a larger angle, the one with the larger angle will have a larger base. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.